Guacamole is one of those things that you're probably more used to seeing as a really smooth puree, almost like a paste, which people serve as a dip. I prefer it to be much more textured with kind of chunky piece of the avocado, the tomato, and all in all, I think, a much nicer way of serving it. So to start off with, I'm going to get the avocado, and it's just a case of cutting it down the middle and taking out the stone. And all I'm going to do is just using a spoon, just kind of spoon chunks from the half into the bowl. It's quite a rustic dish. It's not going to look incredibly pretty, but it's delicious. And it's got all those vibrant colors, which I think are essential for guacamole. Now I'd say don't do this dish too far in advance because what will happen, even if you've used the lime, is that the avocado will start to discolor. So this beautiful kind of graded green you've got here from almost yellow up to dark green will become very brown and be quite unattractive. Now to that I'm going to add the red onion. And some chilli. What I've done is I've got one chilli which has been de-seeded and chopped, but I also want that fiery kick from the actual seeds. So I'm putting one extra chilli with the seeds still in it. Just chop that finely. Right in with that. And now using these lovely ripe tomatoes. So again, I want this quite nice and chunky, so I'm not going to cut these very small, maybe into eight beautiful ripe tomatoes. There we go. So in with the tomato. They smell amazing, real, really sweet and full of flavour. Now, coriander. I really like coriander, so I'm going to put a good handful of this in there. You don't want to chop it too finely. But also, it's got a delicate herb, so try and cut through it just once. Don't run the knife back and forth through it, because it'll tend to bruise the coriander. Almost there. We're just going to put a squeeze of lime in there for the sharpness. A pinch of salt and pepper. And just a little bit of olive oil just to loosen it all up. And stir that through. And that's it. It's not going to a food processor, it's not going to a blender. Now I'm stirring it quite gently because it is ripe avocado. Now I don't it to break up into a kind of mush. So just stir that through. And there you go. You can still serve it as a dip, but I think it's beautiful as a salad, wonderful as a side dish to serve with barbecues, and perfect for the summer. Mm -hmm.